Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 10 of my Blender video tutorial. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to continue drawing the Mr. Incredible car that I started in part 9. If you didn't see part 9, definitely watch that, otherwise you will be confused. And like always, all the images I refer to in this tutorial, as well as a cheat sheet, is available in the description underneath this video, and I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. Okay, so here we are once again with our Mr. Incredibles car, or my version of it. And I'm going to hit 1 here to see the front face, and Control 1 to see the rear, and 3 to see the side. Now what I want to do is I want to come in here and basically cover the outer edges and then work my way in towards detail. So I'm going to go in here for Edge Select first, and I'm in Edit Mode, and just hit Tab to switch between different modes. All right, so what I want to do here is if I want to curve this shape here and curve this shape, I'm going to have to come in and add in some more loop cuts. Now, I could very easily come in and do like subdivides. So let's go and let's look at that option. All right, so here we got that. And then I could just go subdivide, subdivide. But you see all the horrible geometry that's being created, so I'm not going to do it that way. Okay, so I am not going to use subdivide. I almost never use subdivide. So I'm going to hit A and get rid of that. So I'm going to, to be able to properly curve this. I could do a bevel also, but the bevel is going to cre create all kinds of bad geometry also. So what I've decided to do instead is just do my own loop cuts. So I'm going to have a whole bunch of loop cuts here, and I'm going to do a bunch of, and I'm just, I just left clicked and left clicked again, and then I'm going to A to deselect, and I'm going to do some more loop cuts. There's more. So I'm just putting in my own loop cuts here. So there's four of them, and I might be overdoing this. I'm, you know, I'm just doing this out of my head. So I created those loop cuts with Control R, rolled my mouse, middle mouse button up to create a bunch of them, and I left clicked to seal them into place. And then I'm going to also, I want to create like this um, extruded up part right here. So that means I'm going to have to create some more loop cuts. So let's go Control and R. And if you move towards the right, it's going to go horizontal. Or if you move towards the edge, it's going to go horizontal. Otherwise, it's going to be vertical. I want vertical. So I'm going to drag this over here to roughly that area. And then left click. And then deselect. And then so we're going to be able to bevel this guy right here. And then what I need to do, and I also have a loop cut there. So I want to have one more loop cut going right here in the front. And then we should all be happy. So let's go Control R and move towards the edges to be able to create that. Got it. And then I'm going to move it into place. And I think that that's roughly what I'm aiming for. All right. So now that we have all that created, what I want to do is, like I said, I could have did a bevel, but it would have created bad geometry. I could have used subdivide, but that would have created bad geometry. What I'm going to use instead is what's called the proportional editing, which is this guy down here which you open up by clicking on O. So I got all of this selected and I want to sort of round this out. So I'm gonna go and do an edge select. And let's say I do an edge select like right here. So edge select, let's do, hmm, okay. So edge select, edge select. Let's grab all of that and then I'm gonna round that. So I'm gonna go O for proportional editing. And then sometimes sphere works, sphere works, sometimes smooth works. Smooth tends to work best for me, however. And then I'm gonna get that like this, and then I'm just going to sort of smooth it. Now, when I press the left mouse button down, you're going to see that circle shows up. That circle is saying, what do you, what parts of the geometry do you want to affect? So I'm so holding down the left mouse button, and then with my left hand, I am rolling the, I, yeah, I could do it with my middle finger also. Um, I'm, I'm covering what geometry I want to affect. So I'm gonna move this up. You can see it's sort of rounding out, and then I'm gonna go this way. And this is giving me my rounded out edges. So kind of cool. So that's roughly what I'm shooting for. And then, so see, it's nice and curved. Then I want to curve it down some more. So that means I'm going to need some more loop cuts up here. So let's go Control R, and there we are. And then I'm not going to move any of them. I don't think, well, let's just go and add in one more loop cut. Ah, let's escape and undo. Now let's do A to deselect and then do another loop cut. So Control R. And I am just, there we are. I think that's more than enough loop cuts. And then I'm going to maybe move it over just a little bit to the right side of the screen and drop that. All right, so now I want to curve this up a little bit also. So deselect everything. And then we'll sort of, maybe I want to grab 
this edge right here to use this to prop this up a little bit. So I got edge select already selected and I'm going to come in and grab this guy, this guy, and all of these other edges inside of here to make a more smooth line. And then I'm going to proportional editing's on, smoothing's on, and I'm gonna move this up. And you can see what I'm affecting, which is everything inside of that circle. I can make it a little bit smaller, I can make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm just dragging that up to make it more rounded. Okay, good, A, D, select. And then I can come in and increase this for the hood scoop or whatever, the center of the of the hood. So um, again, I still have edge select on there. So I'm gonna get this. I'm holding down the shift key to get the rest of these edges. And then I'm going to raise that up. So once again, let's go one and proportional editing. Well, let's look at it from the top so that I can see what I'm affecting. So proportional editing, I want it to be bigger. I want to affect more area, not less. And there you go. So it's sort of raising up the all of that area that's sort of surrounded in there. And if I had more time, I could fiddle with this and make it absolutely perfect. But I think you can see it. See, it's sort of curve here. Then it goes down and it goes back up again. All right, so good stuff. Deselect everything. Now what I can do is come in and handle these bevel, um, like the, the thing that I want to you know the uh, I don't know what this is called this <laughs> this extruded uh, metal chromed out part right there okay that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna be extruding out next so I'm gonna do face select down here and then let's see if I can get it all right so we got this one and I'm going to right click on that and then I want to get both of these so let's go get all of these different faces inside of here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude those out and then resize them so and then we'll get our nice little edges that's extruded out so my goal with this tutorial is to be able to show how to do a whole bunch of different cuts and manipulations and shapes and things like that it's not necessarily to have the world's greatest car in the end um because I don't work for Pixar, you might not have guessed that, but... <laughs> so here we are. I'm going to get all of these different guys. Okay, got them all. Those are all the edges that I want to extrude out. I'm going to go extrude with E. I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to scale. And then I can scale them out like this. And let's go and decrease. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do proportional editing in this situation. Let's escape out of that. Come down here, shut off proportional editing. I could do go and click down there or I could just go O and it's off. And when it's off, it's gray. Whenever it's not, it's purple. Here, I'll do it. Or blue, I guess. Blue, it's on. Now it's off. All right. I don't want proportional editing this time. So let's go S for scaling these out. And then let's extrude them. I already hit E for extrude. And now they're sort of popping up. And there we go. And I have clipping turned on so they will just merge any place where there's overlap. So there you go. There is my um, thing. Tons of, of um, shapes inside of here which you want to eliminate. But like I said, I'm just trying to make this quick and I'm not being too fiddly. All right, so the next part. I'm getting pretty close here and getting things done. I'd like to get this grill taken care of. So let's go and let's take care of it. So I got this line right here. I want to, let's just do another uh, loop cut. Move towards the right. Let's say I want it to be like right there. That's good. And then another loop cut down here. And let's have like this and then have it be right there. And wish I could use these more, these loop cuts more, but kind of in a position where I can't. So back to the beginning, I hit one to get in here and control R, go towards the side. If you want to do horizontal loop cuts, it's another one right there. So I got that one right there and I got this one right here. So let's drop that in there so I can make that space and that space and that space. And one, hold down the shift key. I can move everything around here just by dragging and dropping inside of there. And then let's go and uh, to try to avoid doing numerous more loop cuts, I'm gonna do right here, come in on this side and bring this up and then have it be roughly the same size as the bottom one that I put inside of there. Okay, so I got that in there. Now what I wanna do is do some face selects. So I'm gonna come down here and this is where I'm clicking on face select, edge select, vertices select, just so you know. 
Okay, so if I want to be able to have this be straight in here so that I can extrude out the um, grill part of it, well, this is curved. So what I want to do is I want to go and eliminate that curve. I've talked about previously how to do that in previous parts of the tutorial. So I'm going to go Alt and right click, and I'm going to go S, Z, 0. See, everything's straight now. Let's go back to one. Hopefully I didn't mess up anything. I don't believe I did. And let's look at what else we got here. We also got this guy. Let's go Alt, well, let's go A first, deselect, Alt, right click, and SZ0. There, everything's fine. And jump back into one. Now I'm gonna be able to extrude this out by doing face select. And then I'm gonna go in here and select all of these guys. I'm holding down the shift key and whoops, shift key and right clicking to pick out everything that I want to be able to select. And you know what, let's shut this off. Um, I down, went down here and selected this. Now it's only gonna show me the faces that are right in front of me and nothing in that's behind so I don't accidentally cause problems. So I'm gonna go right click and select all these. So I'm selecting all of the places where the grill is going to be extruded out and got all of that in place. And then for the inside of the grill, I'm probably gonna do a rounded um, rectangle, I think it calls it. All right, so I selected all those and I can come down here and look at this and then I can go extrude and enter. And then I want to scale on the, that would be the Y axis since this is green. So I'm gonna go scale Y and then let's go and bring it out just a little bit. Now, very often, well, it's not doing it. Why didn't it do it? I don't know. Let's escape out of that. I think that's right. Uh, let's go, you know what? Let's just do an extrude um point one there we are and then do enter there we are now i know exactly what that is so that's a point one extrusion so we went and we extruded that out is there anything else i need to do here i got that all fixed there in the front yeah might as well just finish the front so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna create the headlight next so i'm gonna first de and i'll also create the blinker and then i'll also create the inside of the grill so let's go and create a sphere so shift and a and rounded cube that's what i'm going to use i thought it was called rounded rectangle uv sphere got it created and then let's go and turn it into a a headlight so just drag that guy out of there and i'm going to go to the three selection hold down the shift key hold down the middle mouse button drag this in here i'm going to do vertices selections first deselect and then b for box select and go and draw that and then do x to delete all the vertices and um, it didn't delete all the other things. What the? All right, <laughs> let's come in here and let's do it again. Sometimes things don't work the way you think they should. Okay. Oh, I know why. Uh, because I, I shut this off down here. Say silly me. Okay, let's leave those on there. And let's go like this. Deselect everything with A and B. And then let's grab everything. That and X and vertices. And see there, now it works. So uh, I want to size it then. So I'm going to go B for box select, select everything. And this is going to be scaled down a lot. So scale, scale, scale. And that looks like that's about right. Let's drag it over here, see if it lines up and looks like it's about the right size. And it does. And then let's go to front view by pressing on one. And let's go and drag it. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Um, let's turn off clipping. And now let's drag it over here. That's all fine. All right, so we got that. I love when I make mistakes in tutorials because that means you will not make them later on. And then this doesn't line up perfectly cause my drawing's off, not because of anything else. And then I'm gonna do a scale on this to enlarge it and then left click and there you go. And when I did that scale, I wasn't holding down any mouse buttons or anything. So that's perfect in a perfect position, sorta. Hold down shift key, middle mouse button, drag it into position, and then drag it over here until it is inside the car. And then go back out to the one position, and there we go. Now we got a headlight. And let's go and to create the blinker, we're gonna go one again, and I'm gonna go shift and duplicate uh, with D. So shift D. If I did alt D, then any material changes that I made to either one of these would affect the other one. So that's the difference between Alt and Shift D. So let's put that down there and let's scale it 
and let's put this down here. Actually, thinking about it, I should have done way less vertices here, but that's all right. I mean, this is a you know a tutorial. This is a learning process, and so that's perfectly fine the way that it is. And I think that's going to line up good, and that looks pretty good. Okay, so deselect with A. Yeah, definitely do less vertices than what I had here, and you would change that down here. I'll, I'll show you when I do the, the grill part of it. Okay, so let's come in and let's create these rounded cubes that we were going to make. And I'll show you what I mean by changing the vertices. So well, I'm going to go Shift and A once again. And then here is the round cube. If you do not see that as an option, I'm gonna show you here in one second how to make that an option. So let's go and actually, before I do that, let's do an undo on that. Well, let's do an undo on the whole thing. Let's do a shift and then round cube again. And then I'm gonna come down here and let's see how many changes we can make here. Let's go and drag this guy out. And can I not? Um, looking to see how I can affect this. Well, actually, there's not that many different things I can do here to make that less complicated. But down here is where you would lower the number of vertices whenever you create shapes. I'll show you here in a moment with another example. So let's go and let's just turn these into the grill parts. So I will go into three once again, come in here and do a vertice select. That's what I got. I'm going to go A and then I'm going to make sure that I have this turned off and I'm going to come in and whoops, messed that up. Let's go shift S and cursor to center. I just moved my 3D cursor over there again. I'm going to go B for box select, select all this. I missed one of them. Let's go undo box select and let's grab all of them and then let's do X and vertices are deleted and this is going to be the grill part that we're going to be working with let's go back to one obviously this is going to change pretty dramatically so let's go and do select one of them hit L to select the whole thing let's move this over here and then what I want to do is size it on the I believe that would be the X axis right so uh, well, let's just size it all together first. So that looks like it's getting about the right size. Drag it down a little bit. And I'm going to turn this into these shapes right here. So scale again, down a little bit, bring it over here. And let's do this one first because that's not going to cause any problems for any of the other ones. Let's drag it up here a little bit. And then size on the X. So that would be S, X, and... Then I'm able to shrink it down like this. And then that's what I'm looking for. So let's go to three, drag it over here into position, and then one, and there it is. And then we can go and do a shift and D for duplicate, and then just hit enter, and then drag it into position. That way you know that everything's gonna line up perfectly. So shift D, enter, and then drag over into position. If you went and tried to move it on its own, it would get messed up. So shift D and enter and drag it into position again. And D, enter, shift D, enter, and shift D, enter. All right, and there we go. We have the whole entire front of the thing, the car fixed. That's looking pretty sweet, isn't it now? All right, so let's go back to three. What do we want to do here? Hold down the shift key, hold down the middle mouse button, drag that into position so we can see it. We're going to extrude out the bumper. We're going to extrude out this part, and we're going to extrude out these guys. So let's go and let's work on this, and then we're going to do inset the windows. We're going to create a new headlight in the back here, and then we'll be done. So the very first thing I'm going to cover is this guy right here. So I'm just going to do some face selects on on it face select face select all of these and then i'm gonna have the gap be here instead of you know in the off part there and i can go and do these select all these at the same time and then i can do a extrude let's go maybe to the the front and this is going to be an extrude on the uh, x-axis because it's red. So I'm going to go extrude x.1 and enter. And it's going to be exactly the same as the other extrude that I just did. And there you can see it created it. Now these come to a point, however. So let's go and we'll do A to deselect. And we'll grab this guy right here. And we'll move it down so that it goes into a point. And then do the same with this one and then it goes into a point. Now let's make sure I grab the right ones, and I did. So they look perfectly 
fine. All right, so that's what I was aiming to do. And then for the other one, um, this is gonna go to a point also. So that is this one, I believe. Let's grab this. And we will go and grab this vertice right here. Move it down to a point. Is that the right one or not? Um, I don't know. Ah, see, I grabbed the wrong one. See, I want this vertice right here. So let's deselect, grab that vertice. Let's drag it down to the middle of our, our face. Grab this one and drag it up to the middle. Okay, so it's an extrusion that sort of comes to a point. Exactly what I was looking to do. All right, so I got that one done. I am going to also want to extrude out this uh, streamline. I don't know what that thing is, but uh, this is going to extrude out. So how am I going to extrude it? I'm gonna extrude it in exactly the same way I extruded all the other ones. Just go like this, select all of them. And then after I get them all done, I'm gonna extrude point one, So everything's extruded out the same amount. So it looks nice. And then that'll be done. So let's do that and then we can do our wheels and things and then our incredible car will be all modeled so once again we're going to be extruding on the x plane so we're going to go extrude x.1 boom done all right a to deselect and let's jump back to three i'm also going to want to extrude the bumpers on this and i'm going to want to extrude out the bumper on the back also so let's go back to three and i can select all of these i have face select selected so i'm just right clicking and then holding down shift and grabbing all the other ones grab them i'm just right clicking on all of our bumper parts so we can grab all that and there we go and i got it set up and I think I want to do this in the back. I don't know. Do I want to do that or not? Eh, might look kind of... Yeah, I don't want to do it back here. I want to extrude the other one, but not that. So again, got that all set up. Extrude X.1. Boom. Then I got it, but my bumper's all set up. So see, there's a nice little edge right there. And that's looking good. Should I go and just finish the car while I'm at it? Eh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. Let's go. Control one, let's look at the back. So basically what I have back here is an extrusion that I wanna do here, and then I wanna put a lamp in the middle, and then I wanna do a license plate, and then I wanna do an inset for my window. And that's all that I need to do. So let's go, and let's go another shift A, and let's create another sphere. Go to three, drag it into position, and obviously it isn't you know perfect because it's way too big and then we'll jump back into the rear position way by holding down control and then one drag this over here and then we're going to uh first cut it in half because we don't need all that shift middle mouse button to drag around on the screen here a to d select vertice select and middle mouse button scroll to see it bigger and then b and then just select all of this and then x and then vertices delete and now we got half of it and then we'll go back to the back again control one and i want to select that guy and that's this one right here all right and we'll go l to select everything whoops no that grabbed me the wrong thing grab this and l okay so i got the correct yes i do have the correct one so I want to scale this on the Y, I believe. So I want it to be sort of thinner. So I'm going to go control one and I'll do a scale on Y. Is that right? No, that's not right. Um, scale X. There you go. Sometimes I get confused. All right. So we got that there. And then I got to decide where exactly I want to put it because the drawing is different than the actual car. I think I want to put it right there because that's in the middle of where I have the other stuff. So let's go deselect that. Control one again. Is that in the center of where I want to do the extrusion? Yes, it is. All right. So now we'll go three and we'll drag this into position. Well, I want to do the extrusion also. Control one to see the back view. And then I can do a face select. So let's do face select, face select. It's not going to go there anyway because that's where the hood scoop is. Remember, there's a hood scoop. Um, let's do A to deselect. Select that L. Whoop, didn't grab everything. Let's escape again. Do it by hitting A. Let's just do an edge select on this. There, I got it. And then I want to select all of the pieces. So I grab, I pressed on L. That selects everything once you select one thing. A to deselect. And then I want to do the extrusion on the face here. And the extrusion is going to be not where it sticks out, but everywhere else. So let's go 
control one and I'm going to start it right here. So I'll do a face select on all of these guys and then I'll be able to do that extrusion. All right, so we're getting a lot of stuff done here. Okay, something like that. Okay, so that's going to be extruded and then there's going to be like a gap and then there's going to be another extrusion down here. That's basically what the drawing I have is anyway. And yes, this extrudes also, I believe. All right, so then what I can do is do an extrude and this is going to be Y because see, this is, well, see there's red, there's blue, so that's Y. So I'm going to go like this and I'm going to go extrude Y point one. See it extruded and enter. And I'm going to go control one to get it again. A to D select. Then I'm going to grab this guy. So I'm going to go B and well, I'm going to go escape to get out of that. I'm going to make sure this is shut off so that I can select every single thing and not just what's viewing. Grab that, drag this back into position, which should be right about here. And that looks good. Go and do view from three. And then let's drag this in here. And then it's not going to be on the hood scoop though. It's going to be down here in the middle of this extruded out part. Okay. And there we are. Pro one and it's in the center. Good stuff. Now I can do the same thing for our uh, license plate that we have here. Holding down the shift key, middle mouse button, dragging this around. Let's go grab face select. Got it. And then we'll just come in here. Whoops. You know what? I'm going to hit A to deselect. Whoops. A, D select, and then I'm going to turn this back on again so I'll see only what is on the screen in front of me and not a three-dimensional view of that. And I got all of those. That'll be the license plate. Once again, we can drag this over here and we can go extrude Y.1. Boom, done. We got that one all fixed. Control 1 and everything is all set except for the inset windows. Let's go 3. Do we have everything here? Yes, we have everything there except for our our um, our wheels. 1. Everything is done on the front except for the inset windows. Why don't we do the wheels? Okay, so to create our wheels, I'm going to have to create a cylinder. So I'm going to go Shift and A and create a cylinder. There's our cylinder and I'm going to move it out. Let's go three and let's bring it out here. Well, it's way too big, obviously. Let's do a S and scale it down in size. And first off to see exactly how it's doing here, I'm going to go R, Y, and 90 and then hit enter. Okay, now it looks like a wheel because it's on its side. Drag it down here till it's roughly in the middle of the screen. Drag it down here until it's in the middle of where I have that wheel drawn. S to scale and then bring it up in size. So there we got that all set up. All right, so now I'll do one to see the front. Obviously this needs to go to the right. So let's bring it over here and let's scale it on the X axis only. So I hit S and then X. I don't think the X showed up, don't know why. All right, and there it is. So I hit S and then the X key and then it went and showed up. Now it's not gonna, I don't want it to go that far over cause I have to put like hubcaps and things on it. So I'm gonna move it over a little bit more. Three, that looks perfect. So let's go shift and middle mouse button to come in, shift, middle mouse button once again. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the hubcap part. So I'm gonna go extrude, well, first off, deselect everything, face select, and I just wanna face select that. I'm gonna go extrude, and then I'm gonna go S, and I'm gonna drag that in to get the, that's gonna be the actual tire part of it. You can see everything looks perfect there. And then I'm going to go and extrude again. So I'm gonna go three first so I can use my guide. So I'm gonna go extrude. You know what? Let's do an extrude and then bring it in or have it come, you know, to the right. So to do that, I'm gonna go extrude and then Y and let's do point 05, something like that. See, it created like a little bit of a lip there on that wheel. And then I can do, you know what, let's do an undo. Let's do a little bit more than that. So let's do an extrude Y.1. Well, that's too much, isn't it? So, escape. Let's try it again. This is what we do. All right, so we'll do, um, let's do a extrude Y and we'll do a 0.08 something like that and then enter and that looks a little bit good that looks kind of cool okay three again and that's fine right yeah it looks good but we go in the right direction just verifying that i got what i think i got all right so three once again and then we can do a extrude and scale 
and then bring this in some more. No, it looks funky. I don't like the way that looks. Let's just undo our way out of it. All right, so let's just redo it. It's always better to just redo the doggone thing again instead of guessing that you've got it right. So I got just the face selected, right? Yes. And I'm hitting three. And I'm going to hit extrude and S, E, S. Drag that. Drop it inside of there. And then I'm going to do another extrusion. Extrude Y and 0.08 and then enter, and then three. Why does that look weird? I don't know why it looks weird. Is it just my eyes? I don't know. Colorblind, sometimes I double, I, I think that I'm seeing things that I'm not seeing. Um, Let's go back to three, and let's do another uh, scale on this. So we'll go E, extrude, S, and then drag that down inside once again, and then drop it. And then we can do a extrude and point or extrude y negative uh, 0.05 something like that enter see what that looks like uh, we can do a 7 to see this from the top and then do a control 7 to see it from the bottom and yeah I guess it looks fine I don't know why it just looks a little bit weird whenever I did it before that's okay and then 3 jump back inside of here and then do an extrude scale down and then have it come the whole way in for the rest of the hubcap. Okay, so there we go. We drew our wheel and we have all of that all set into place. So now what I wanna do is I wanna duplicate it and I'm gonna hold down the shift key and the middle mouse button and I'm gonna select everything. So I'm gonna right click on anything and then I can do L to select the rest of it. Oops, let's go turn that off. L, now I got everything. Okay, so I wanna duplicate this. I'm gonna go shift D and then we hit enter and then I'm going to drag this guy down here into position and there we go now I got our wheels a to deselect that and do I have everything done except for yes my window insets so what I want to do is I want to sort of inset the windows I don't do this on this part because that is a entire window that whole entire thing so I'm just going to do window insets on this part and the rear part shift and hold down the middle mouse button so I want to inset these windows I'm going to select face I already have face selected select that and I'm going to do I and move in actually that's just about perfect um, left mouse button click and then I'm going to go E X negative 0.15 enter and that's going to make the windows inset a little bit see and let's go back three do a the face select on these also so face select face select face select all these guys once again we're going to inset the windows so i'm going to go i they already went i'm going to click on the enter button i'm going to go e x negative 0.15 enter and there you can see the windows inset themselves i'm going to go control one go to the rear and then i'm going to do face selects again on all of these Let's see, where do I want to actually do it though? I think I only want to do face, I only want to do the windows in certain part. So let's go control one again and let's start right here. So face select, face select, face select. Let's get all these. Actually, A, deselect, turn that back on and let's go start grabbing these again. So face select again, got them all. And then I'm going to do a I to inset those a little bit, enter. And then I'm going to go E, and this would be Y, I believe. Let's just do it. So E, Y, negative 0.15, enter. Yes, and there you can see it did the inset. So there you go, guys. There is our Incredibles car all modeled out and looking pretty snazzy. I think I modeled everything, didn't I? It's not absolutely perfect, but it's looking pretty doggone good and got to show you how to do a whole bunch of crazy things inside of here and hopefully you guys enjoyed that so like always please leave your questions and comments below otherwise till next time